Hey YouTube, I'm Steve and you're watching Live Work Live, the channel dedicated to remote workers and the work from anywhere movement. Today I'm going to take you out back on my property and show you something that I've been waiting for for a very long time. Let's go. So I brought you out here to show you something very special. That's right, I got a Starlink. So what is Starlink? Well, let me see if I can explain it in 60 seconds or less. Starlink is a satellite internet service from Elon Musk's company, SpaceX. SpaceX is in the process of launching thousands of these satellites using their cheap and reusable Falcon 9 rocket platform. The goal is to create a web of small, low Earth orbit satellites connected by lasers to offer high-speed internet to anyone in the world with a clear view of the sky. It's a big, ambitious project and promises to be a game changer for those of us who live in remote, rural areas that are underserved by the telecoms. Just take a look at this map that was recently released from the National Telecommunications and Information Administration. It's the first time a federal agency has identified areas of need. And yep, all of those red areas are underserved. Hey, if you're finding anything useful, please go ahead and click that like button. It'll help other people find this video. Oh, and drop me a comment, ask me a question, give me some advice on making these videos. I really like to start building a relationship with my audience. All 10 of you. <laughs> the package itself was packed really well. It shows a lot of design, aesthetic, beauty, and quality. Uh, it's very simple. It's engineering done right. It's a three-step process to set up that I did it in about 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see, when you open up the package, it's all well packed. There's some major components here. You'll see the tripod, which is a good first way to set it up. Uh, then there's the main dish itself. Uh, comes with a long cable and also connects to the built-in uh, router. One thing about that tripod is, you know, it's good for testing uh, different locations, but you're going to want to get a roof mount uh, before you really set this up for real. Setting this up for the first time was a breeze. You really just click it in and then you plug it in and it's ready to go. Um, it's a beautiful piece of equipment. People online are nicknaming this Dishy McDish Face. Uh, but it's really, it, it's beautiful, it's simple, and the amazing thing about it is that it will actually melt snow. So if you put it on your roof in the winter time, it'll melt snow. And here you can see how it automatically will find and adjust itself to the right position according to wherever the satellites are in the sky. It's a cool little thing when you, when you check it out. In fact, everything was going fine until I encountered its ultimate nemesis, trees. That's right. The thing about satellite dishes is they have to be able to see the full sky. And I live in a beautiful wooded area. Um, with trees surrounding my house. I was out in my side parking lot, which is the most open space on my property. And even there, I ran into real problems um, finding a big enough opening for this thing to work. It has a great little app that you can use to scan your area and see if you have um, the visibility that you're going to need. This is something that I wish I had done before I ordered it, and you can download the free app and do this yourself. Because by scanning the sky and viewing the results um, that they calculated for me on the app live, it definitely showed me that I would have problems with this. I would only be able to receive high internet in 15 second increments before there would be a shutdown and a restart. So. I needed to find a better spot and unfortunately there is just no better spot on my property. So unfortunately for me, it doesn't look like Starlink is the right solution. If I was living someplace where I had no good internet, I might be willing to cut down the tops of some of these trees in order to get the internet that I need. But I'm lucky, I have cable internet that gives me the speeds I need. I just wanted a really strong backup for the times when bad weather knocks out power and knocks out internet here. I was really hoping Starlink was the right option. But it might be for you. I would recommend if you're in a situation where you have 360 degree view of your sky and you need some high speed internet and you're remote and in North America, 
go ahead, give it a try, see if it works for you. But for me, I'm gonna have to find another option. Hi, thanks again for watching this video. I really appreciate you spending the time with me. Um, go ahead and give it a like if, you, if you'd like to share it out to others and hit the subscribe if you'd like to see more. Okay, see you next time. Today I'm gonna to take you out back on my property and show you something that I've been sitting on for a little while and I'm, nope, that sounds so weird.